Okay, I got around Westport quite a bit, getting familiar with the area, and you, I could say it's a considerable difference from um, Ocean Shores, which is just north of Westport. I think Westport's more of your fishing village. It's a little bit poorer, not so much a retirement area, but it's it's certainly more welcome to the um, commercialization of tourism. The the ocean shores doesn't seem to be quite there. There's a there's a lot more established big homes like vacation homes for what appear to be more wealthy people up there. It uh, it's a it's a stark contrast, and you know the, the only way they can reach each other is to either drive completely around the bay, or if you got a nice boat. But even the nicest boat, I mean, those waves are crazy. It's it's uh it'd be a difficult passage, and it's only like maybe a quarter mile that in the inlet area that separates them. But there is a also big difference not only in the cultures between Westport and Ocean Shores, the beach. You can actually, you can drive on the beach of Ocean Shores, or I've bicycled, and I went a long stretch between, say, uh, about the li uh, beyond the library, from to the very, practically to the very end of, of the, the inlet area, to, and, and then from there to the uh, casino that was that was just a just a huge stretch of just perfectly drivable beach or riding on your I rode on my bicycle I made some video of that that was a lot of fun but here in Westport you can't you can't bicycle anywhere on the beach or at least it's just not an enjoyable it, it just doesn't compare to the joy that's driving on, or bicycling on the, the ocean shores brings but <clears throat> one similarity between them is they both have sand dollars, which uh, it's that that shell, that that type of um, like bottom feeder type of thing. I I don't know. I collected a couple of them, just these calcium shells. They look neat. And then also finding agates is a big thing. I found this on ocean shores. And I turned around and sold it for 99 cents on eBay. So uh, it's, it's pretty good size. And I, I found this at Westport. Just this little agate. You know, not 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 uh, quite there. I might try to sell it on eBay too. It's, it's really neat. <clears throat> they get dredged up by the waves and thrown on shore. So it's it's every so often you find them. Um, you could. I asked a lady. I asked a couple ladies who I walked by on the beach if they found any agates, and they they both showed me agates. They they, it's a thing to look for agates along the shore. It's it's a hunting mission. It's kind of like your clamors. It's just you 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 got to keep your eyes out open for them, and you know they 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 have some value. They're pretty. Uh, both both ladies showed me some pretty agates, so that's that's something that's that's pretty neat. Um, a lot of uh, in in Westport, there's a lot of these sea lions that have taken over the the shipping the shipping the commercial area, parking their docks. If, uh, the sea lions have taken over the docks of the commercial areas just because they smell all that fish, and it does smell fishy uh, around there. There, there's, a, there's a nice museum in Westport, there's a commercial area, like a sidewalk you can walk down. In fact, they uh, really try to build it up. I mean, it looks well built up, but I mean, when it attracts a street performer, there's a guy singing on the street with musical instruments, or he's playing some recording. You know that there, there's, uh, there's these people see a lot of value in the, in the commercialization of it. There seem to be a lot more people attracted to Westport than there do to North, to Ocean Shores. But Ocean Shores is, I mean, to be able to, to bicycle on the beach, that's that's a bigger advantage. Westport's more of a surfing town. I, I actually finally saw a lot of surfers surfing in one spot on the beach, which is cool. That's it.